In today's video tutorial, we are going to be learning how to convert kilometers into miles using Python code. We're also going to have a look at how we can round numbers up so we're not left with too many digits after our decimal point. Alrighty, to get started on our app today, what we're going to be doing is asking the user to enter in the number of kilometers they would like to convert into miles. So thinking back to previous videos, we know that we need to use an input keyword at the start here when we're asking a user a question. So we're going to input and then we're going to type in something like um, enter the number of kilometers that you would like to convert into miles. Put a colon, a space, quotation marks and a closing bracket to finish off with. Alright, so once the user types in the number of kilometers they wish to convert to miles, we want the computer to remember that number that they type in. So we need to store it into a variable like we've been doing in some of the last tutorials. So go back to the start of line one and come up with a meaningful name for a variable that can hold the value that the user types in. So since we're talking about kilometers here, I might call this one kilometers. So kilometers equals whatever the user types in there, and it gets stored inside this variable. Okay, now the other thing we need to be wary of here, since we're about to perform a calculation that converts kilometers to miles, we need to tell the computer that what the user types in here is actually a number, and not just a bunch of letters. So before the word input, we need to convert this line into an integer. So we write in INT and open up a bracket, and at the end of the line, we close that bracket. So now whatever the user types in here will be converted from a string data type into an integer data type. And that will allow us to perform the calculation on the next line. So that calculation that we need, that I'm talking about, sorry, is converting kilometers into miles. Okay, so how do we do that? Best thing is to go onto Google and just type in kilometers to miles. That's what I searched for. And you can see near this yellow line here, we've got a formula. Okay, so it says for an approximate result, it won't be exact, but it'll be pretty close. We divide the length value by 1.609. So going back to our code, the length value is just this one here. Okay, so how many kilometers they type in. And we divide that by 1.609. Alright, so what we need to do first of all is come up with a new variable name that's going to hold the value or the answer of this equation. So since it's going to end up in miles, I might just call this variable miles. That's pretty meaningful. And all we do is we type in kilometers first. Make sure you spell it right. So we get the number that's been stored up there in the kilometers variable. And we divide it, so use a forward slash as your divide symbol. 1.609 Alrighty, and that's all the formula is converting kilometers into miles on the last line We just want to print out the result to the user so they know what the converted number is So we're going to print first of all. We're going to put in the kilometers um, Number that they typed in first of all so I'll put the kilometers variable there then put a comma And we'll put in quotation marks km which is obviously short for kilometers so something kilometers converts to, close our quotation marks, put a comma, and this time we're going to put in the answer of our equation, which was under the miles variable. And then we put in another comma, and in quotation marks, we write the word miles. Close your quotation marks at the end and close your bracket to finish off with. And that should be our code up and running. So let's save it first of all. Uh, I'm going to save this one as a distance converter. And I'm going to run it. Hopefully we've got everything right. So it comes up with the question, enter the number of kilometers that you would like to convert into miles. Let's say you want to convert 5 kilometers into miles. We press enter and it says 5 kilometers converts to this many miles. Now, if you remember back to the start of the video, I said we need to learn how to round up these numbers. Otherwise, we're going to end up with some pretty gigantic numbers there. So let's say we round it up to two decimal places. Okay, all we need to do is we need to go to this second line here where the formula is. 
just before the word kilometers, we're going to add in the word round, which obviously stands for rounding something up. We're going to open up a bracket, and then at the end of that line, we've got 1.609, put a comma, and then the number that you want to round up to. So I'm just going to say two decimal places, and then I'm going to close my brackets. Okay, so all we've added in was the round keyword, the bracket, and then a two at the end and a closing bracket. The two just says, let's round this number up to two decimal places. Let's save that and run it again. Okay, we're converting five kilometers into miles and we get 3.11 miles. Let's go over to Google and test that. We type in five, we get 3.1, blah, 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 blah. I don't think you can round theirs up any lower than that, but that's pretty close. So that is how you convert kilometers to miles and the key thing to take out of this tutorial is how to round up um, equations or formulas there to however many decimal places you choose.